So now my talk is about inspiration from creation, how engineers are copying God's designs. Just to tell you a little bit about my experience and qualifications, as, as you heard earlier, I'm Professor of Engineering Design at Bristol University in the UK. I also have uh, quite a number of publications, about 140 scientific papers and seven uh, patents. That's in the secular scientific press. I also have a background in spacecraft engineering. That's where, uh, after graduating and after doing a PhD, this is where I learnt the art of design. And it's a very difficult place uh, to design things. This is where I learnt that design does not happen by chance, but it takes a lot of skill and a lot of wisdom. One of the main projects I worked on was the Envisat satellite, uh, the world's biggest civilian Earth observation satellites uh, designed and built by ESA, the European Space Agency. Uh, it's so big, it wouldn't fit in this hall. It's an enormous uh, spacecraft with many Earth observation instruments. So big that it needed a very special design of solar array. The solar array was bigger than a badminton court. And I had to design some special mechanisms for that. And for that work, I was awarded the Turner's Gold Medal, the top design award in the United Kingdom. Uh, we called it Envisat, actually not because it was an environmental satellite, but because it was bigger than every NASA American civilian satellite. They were very envious, so we called it Enviasat, uh, or Envisat for short. Uh, it's not often you get to make something bigger than the Americans. And when I speak in the United States, I spend a bit more time on this slide. <laughs> Uh, when I was in that project for Envisat and I was designing that deployment mechanism for the solar array, I remember being called in by the project manager and he said, Stuart, do you realise that there's only one solar array on this satellite, your solar array? Do you realise the project cost uh, £1.4 billion, pounds, about $2 billion? And he said, do you realise that if your solar array does not work within 50 minutes following launch, the whole mission is dead. And I said, I didn't know that. <laughs> and he said, well, if you could remember that for the rest of the project, I would appreciate that. Two weeks before launch, I felt physically sick for the whole of those two weeks, and I could not sleep. One of those things they don't teach you at university. But then I learned, design does not happen by chance. Design is a very emotional activity. And I wish some of these atheists could try and design something to see how difficult design is. Would they then still believe in evolution and say the world can easily evolve by itself? I don't think so. <laughs>